Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. The guest is Trish Borsma, a certified writing instructor with Writing Beyond. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank Let's you. Let's tell the audience a little bit about Writing Beyond. What's the program about? Well, it's a, a program that was developed four years ago for women who are recovering from breast cancer treatment, chemotherapy or radiation treatment, and who are experiencing a lot of stress, uh, symptoms as a result of their treatment. And it has to do with their interacting with horses in four carefully guided sessions that have to do with uh, enabling them to feel more at ease with touching and being touched, with self-esteem, with endurance and stretching, in particular with issues that they may have with a rapid heartbeat or rapid respiration, uh, low levels of oxygen in their blood. Um, these are things that have to do with the vagus nerve, which is right here in the middle of the chest. And lying on the horse's back actually activates that nerve and allows women often to take for the first time in many months a really deep breath and to uh, slow their heartbeat, to raise the oxygen levels in their blood. It's quite remarkable. Wow, well, this it sounds like a a really interesting program. How did it, uh, where did the inspiration come to start one here? Well, in March, or May actually, I was presenting at the Prescott Best Practices Conference and I attended a presentation by Catherine Hand who six years ago herself was in hospice as a result of her radiation treatment having gone awry. She had a hole in one lung and her heart was damaged. She was on oxygen. She spent a lot of time in a wheelchair. But she herself was a therapeutic riding instructor and she had given away all but one of her horses, given away her dogs. She was really preparing to die. But she was inspired one day to go out and with the help of a friend to climb on that one horse's back and just lie down on the horse's rump. And she experienced it as very um, comforting and sweet. But it was only two days later when her hospice nurse said, you know, you've been doing something different because you're, you're better. Your oxygen level's up in your blood. Your heart rate is down. What have you been doing? And it took her a little while to realize that it was, the only thing she'd done different was really was to get up on that horse. So she got together with a medical professional who helped her over the next uh, weeks to get out of hospice, over the next months to get well. And then Catherine developed this program that we, that I heard about then and that we, um, I was inspired to offer it to the women here in the Rogue Valley because I am qualified as a therapeutic writing instructor. Uh, I've been doing that kind of work for over 25 years and I knew that I had the right horse for it too. And uh, so we're doing kind of a test case. In June, we started, I started meeting with people here in the community and uh, we've had two meetings since then. We had a kickoff last week. And in September, we're having a pilot program for um, four weeks for three women. And if all goes well, as it has been going very well now so far, then next spring, we want to offer a, a more expanded program. All right. Well, I have a few more questions for you. So stick around. We're five on five right after the break. Welcome back to the Five on Five. The guest is Trish Borsma, a certified writing instructor with Writing Beyond. We've been talking about the Writing Beyond program and how it's created to help women recovering um, from breast cancer and how it, uh, the interaction with the horse is really helping with the healing. If there's women in this area who are interested in it, this has kind of sparked their attention, how might they get more information? They can call me at 541 482 -6210 or email me at epona at aol.com, and that's spelled E-P-O-H-N-A at aol.com, and I can give them details about the program that starts on September 4th. Okay, and when they're coming into this, is there anything they need to know as a base for it, or just uh, just anyone? Who well, kind of uh, the thing is they need to be strong enough to be able to lie down on the horse's back and then to push themselves back up, they need to um, be able to slide down from the horse. Uh, in other words, if they've had recent surgery, that might be a problem. Um, and, but otherwise, I can explain more of the details. But those, they need to have a certain level of strength at this point with our program just getting started. Later, we can take more 
uh, serious issues. Yeah. So there's just a lot of excitement with this program starting and hopefully to yes. uh, help out a lot of women in this area. Yes, indeed. That connection. Yeah. All right, well, Trish, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. We appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. It. Thank That's you. That's it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.